Wake up, youth. This is Brother LZ coming at you one more time, one more again. Today, I would like to ask this question. Is it okay to be angry with the police? Y'all think about this for a second. Is it okay for me to be angry with the police? Is it okay? Young people, I believe it's a good question. A lot of us are probably wrestling with this right now, and some of us already have made a decision, and our decision was based on what we've seen, the videos, the recent videos. We look at George Floyd. We look at the videos of our man Arbery um, in Georgia. That's the, uh, the young African-American who was running, and he was gunned down by two white men. Um, and then over the years, we, we know about Sandra Bland, we know about Garner, who got choked out um, by police in New York. We know about Trayvon Martin, but Trayvon Martin, that, that wasn't necessarily uh, dealing with a law enforcement officer, but it was a guy who was acting as a security for um, Zimmerman. He was acting for security for that particular uh, community. But we, we see this trend. So the question is, is it okay for me to be angry with police? And it's something that we really need to talk about um, because I believe personally uh, from my experience um, as being a law enforcement officer at one point in time and also being a law enforcement professional, I have advanced degrees um, in that area. And it's something that, that needs to be taught and I can tell you there are good police officers out there and there are not so good police officers out there. So how do we balance this? Do we allow for uh, our, our experience or what we see um, to, to dictate or to, to stereotype all the police officers? And we have to be careful with that because recall, isn't this what is happening to us as African Americans, we get one or two bad apples and then that somehow that makes up all of us, all of us are the same. And so we have to be careful. I believe that we have some answers with the word of God. When I make these videos, I always go to the word of God and some people say, well, you always got the, a word for something or a scripture. Well, it's, it's important that we have scripture because when I find myself, uh, looking at these these videos i'm upset i'm frustrated i'm hurt and sometimes it even put me bring me to tears so i have to have someone and that's the lord um, that i can go to and the lord has been so kind and gracious and he has given us his word we see in ephesians i like ephesians ephesians is in the new testament chapter four we see in ephesians chapter four the apostle paul he begins to write in verse 26. He, say, he says some very significant. He says, be ye angry. That's what the King James says. It says, be ye angry. So when you are angry, um, that that is normal. It's some things that we shall see or that, that are going on that should cause us to be angry. Any type of injustice should, should, should cause us to be angry when we see. And this injustice does not have to be with happening to people who look like us is anybody i mean even if you've seen the injustice that happened to some animal or some dog or some cat someone is 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 being cruel that's an injustice um but the apostle paul he writes he says be ye angry and then he says and sin not so he says be ye angry this stuff is gonna this is strong language i mean it, you ought to be angry at some things and there are some things that will come up against you that will cause you to be angry but the apostle paul said and sin not so don't allow how you feel about something or something from the outside to cause you to be so mad that you missed the mark that you sin and then he says let not the sun go down upon your wrath so in other words that that is an old freight uh, an old like idiom in idiom that, that means like literally how they were understood this is before you go to sleep that night, talk to God about that. Don't let the, this anger just keep on lingering day after day to keep building and building. Young people, have you ever just been mad at someone and, and 
if you probably have spoke to him or said something to him early, you know, early on when you first got mad, you wouldn't have not exploded, but you let it go on and on and on. And finally, when you said something, you were so hot, you were so quick, to, you know, you were so hot, you let it build up. You just explode on that person. Well, the Apostle Paul says, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. And then he does that. If you look at this verse, and if you look at this verse in verse 26, it ends with a colon. Young people, recall that a colon means that the next thing that follows that colon is going to further support what was just previously said. So he says, let not the sun, he, that's a command, go down upon your wrath. Then he says, colon, neither give place to the devil. The reason that we don't want to let this linger is you give a space to the devil. So the same devil that, that was involved in causing uh, that law enforcement officer to commit violence upon one of us. It's the same old devil who comes along if you're not careful and you're allowed into your space and you begin to get angry and, and not only be angry, but you it causes you to sin. So young people, to recap, being angry is something natural. This is something God has given us. It is a righteous anger. That's, that's out there, but it's also an unrighteous anger. And your anger turns to unrighteousness when you allow for it to, to get the best of you and it, it calls you to sin. So to answer the question, is it okay for me to be angry with the police? Yes, it is. It is okay. But the moment that you begin to, to get to the point and you begin to miss the mark, you begin to yell out, curse words at the police, you begin to throw water bottles at the police, you begin to uh, uh, riot, uh, you begin to engage in criminal activities, breaking into businesses and, and looting. Be angry, young people, and sin not. Peace.